Welcome back everybody to another Booster Cracking Sunday. Today we are jumping back into Force of Will with the Twilight Wanderer. We're going to be going for our nice little uber rare. I haven't found one in a bit and I'm going to keep these intros short. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Like and subscribe if you enjoy Force of Will or TCG openings. Let's go. Oh, yay! Boom, there it is, the Twilight Wanderer. This is my last box that I have sealed of Twilight Wanderer, so I'm excited. I'm holding out some good hope here that we can find something really nice. Get the plastic wrap off. Let's get this box open. There we go. Ooh, look at, look at who we got here. Very nice. Now, interestingly enough, this card is absolutely abysmally priced on TCG Player right now for the Uber Rare. For the Uber Rare, they have it up for like, what was it, like a thousand dollars for the Uber Rare of this one? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's very accurate. We got all our packs. We're going to move the box to the side and then get cracking. First one, let's dive right in. Let's see what we can see. We got the Bondage Girl straight at the top, the black ribbon. We got whatever that one was, Flash, Justice of God Sword, Beast Queen, Wall of Ideas, We've got Joanne D'Arc, the Shadow Princess of Purity as our rare, and we've got Schrodinger as our first fallen black cat with the Grand Cross, just a rare foil. Next up, let's do it. Now we've been through this one around the block quite a bit, so I think we're gonna do the little skippy skippy thing. I think that'll be fine. We've got Dark Arla, we've got Recollection Dystopia, and we've got Unyielding Flames Memoria with a Dark Alice's Familiar Common. Here we go. Let's see it. We've got the all-consuming suspicion and we're skipping cards. We're going to go to the back to Elaine Overlord. We've got Lancelot, the little Knight of Mad Demon, Knight of Mad Demon, Light Magic Stone, and Drop of Yadrazil Common. Oh, come on. Give me that sweet, sweet Alice Uber Rare. That would be the all-time high top pick for this box for sure. Dance of Shadows, classic card, Invasion, Golden. And we've got the classic band card, the Leviathan, the Demon Sword, Regalia, rare. Very nice, with a Sylvia's Clanmate, common foil. Next one, let's get into this one here. We've got Pride of Night, don't really care about that one so much. We've got Shadow Doppelganger, really cool card. The Stupid Eagle, Fire Magic Stone, and we've got Prissia Beast Queen in Hiding, super rare foil. Very sharp, very nice. I think it's only maybe a two bucker or something like that. But as per usual, I could be wrong on that because prices have been just absolutely insane as of late. I mean, I haven't like been looking at TCG Player lately, and I just looked before I recorded just to see what was going on. Ooh, nice, Fire Magic Stone foil. And prices were just absolutely insane. Just crazy. Eraser of Wind foil. They had a time-spinning witch box up, sealed, for $3,000. I was like, uh, I have one of those. I'll sell my box for $3,000. Any buyers, any takers, feel free to message me. Seriously, I will sell it at that price. Perceval Seeker of the Holy Grail. And we got Wind Magic Stone. And we got Young Knight of Gloria. I have no clue what these card shops are thinking nowadays. They just think they can get away with some really, really random prices for force of will it boggles my mind we've got a light magic stone foil very sharp and valentina's zealot kind of a pretty cool artwork on this one very sharp i wish it has more edges the edges aren't very like they're kind of faded into each other i want more line work you know i don't want no uh just color fading into you know very minuscule definition of lines and muscle definition i don't know leviathan the demon sword uh, non-foil non-foil regalia and we got Suzar Himi, Himi, Goddess of Passion. Very nice foil, very cool. Grabbed more packs and we're jumping in with the dragon sitting on top. We've got, ooh, Scorn of Dark Alice, Wind Sprite, the final word, final forfeit, Barrier of Shadows. Oh, 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 we're skipping. We got Darkness Magic Stone foil, very nice. We've gotten a lot of those now. Lancelot, Knight of the Mad Demon foil. Hooah, yes, let's go, let's go. All right, what are the other good ones we can... Just a lot of the Alice ones are the good cards to find, really. Uh, we got Shadow Doppelganger, very nice. The Eagle again. Sacred Beast Memorial, that's decent. Nice rare, need it in a foil. And then we got Flamewing Wervern. Here we go. Let's see it. Leave a like on the video. If you are enjoying the hunt, we are going to continue hunting. I have to find another Uber Rare soon. 
Darkness Magic Stone. Ooh, one of my favorites from the set, Dark Faria, Shadow Princess of Ebony in a nice foil. That is a really good card. It's not worth much anymore, but I appreciate the artwork on that one. It's clean. It's very clean. Is that lack? I can't tell who the artist is on that one, but I know they've done other cards that I'm a fan of as well. But here we go. Beat of the Wing. Ooh, let's not, let's not reveal. Little Match Girl. Very nice. And an Uncommon Dark Aria Shadow Wing Foilin. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go. Good to be back at the Force of Will boxes. Sitting with a nice little new background. Just the flavorless white just to showcase more of the cards and forget about all the crazy background that I have going on. Phoenix Flame of the World. And we've got a nice, nice full art. Suzuria Himie, Goddess of Passion. Yo, that is a, a very nice full art. I forgot about this. And it's stamped too. That's right, we have stamped in here. I always forget that. That's our first stamped. Pretty crazy that that's our first stamped, which means all the good stuff is hiding deeper in the box, which I'm about, you know, gotta get the intensity up here. Beast Queen, Counterattack, Light Magic Stone, and Rewriting Laws Common. Bada bing, boom, let's go. We've got Unseen Pressure from Schrodinger sitting in the little shadowy background. Spirit of Yadrazil, Deployable Defense, Gawain, the Knight of the Sun, and Vivian, Lady of the Lake as our super rare. But behind it, we've got Final World, World Word, Uncommon. Let's go, let's go, bang. And we've got the Mechanized Sprite, Mechanical Sprite, Light Sprite, Spirit of Yadrazel again. We got that little defense, Gawain, Repeat Pack, Water Magic Stone, and the banger right there, that is sick. It's our stamped foil, J Ruler, refrain child of convergence oh boy oh boy oh boy which means if we get new barrera in this box it's probably not this card so there goes that like three thousand dollars that totally is legitimate price for an uber rare of this guy but getting a nice stamp to this is pretty sick i don't think it's worth a ton still unfortunately you definitely want to get alice still in a nice stamped j ruler but this is a sharp card it's a classic it's a throwback you know i'll take it that is Fan freaking tastic. Reflect Child of Potential. And then we've got Refrain Child of the Convergence. Very sharp. Very cool. Hey ya! All right. What do we got in this one? We pulled our first J Ruler. We've got our second stamped. We need to find more Barrier of Flame. We've got Arthur Pendragon. And we've got Dance of Shadows Uncommon. Grabbing some from the lucky left, as I like to do. We've got, oops, shaking the camera. We've got the Flaming Wyvern. All of ideas. Dark Arla. Recollection Dystopia. We've got the Darkness Magic Stone. And the Banger Little Match Girl. In a nice stamped. Oh, man. Super rare. Super nice. I love this card. Uh, it's not worth anything, unfortunately. But it should be. It definitely should be. I forget how many stamped we can find per box. Uh, maybe like five or six, something like that. We're starting to see them flood in though. And we've got our Alice Fairy Queen, J Ruler, our second J Ruler with Shadow Assassin behind it, Common Foil Weird. Uh, usually you just find this one at the end, but Dark, uh, not Dark, sorry, Alice Fairy Queen, J Ruler, there we go. Non-foil, there's Girl of the Lake right there. Very nice artwork and the classic Alice artwork, Fairy Queen. That is excellent. That's not bad, you know, we would want it in stamped again, but this one should still have maybe five bucks value, something like that. I can't remember. Either way, that's our second J Ruler. That is pretty stellar, but we're not out of the count yet. We still could get an Uber in this box. It's never too late to grab an Uber Rare, you know? They just come and go as they please in these older sets. There's no rhyme or reason. They're just stuck in the box. Overlord's Baptism, all you can count on really is that you'll get one per case, which is every six boxes. Ooh, that's a nice one too. Beast Queen's Counterattack in a foil stamp. See these stamps coming out? Coming out clean too, look at that. That used to be, uh, this one used to be a more expensive card, I think. Um, don't know if it holds too much. It might be only a two bucker now. Used to be like five, six bucks, but I think it's gone down. Next up, let's see it. So we've got the Beastly Attack, Justice God Sword. We'll go straight to the wear with the Grand Cross. And we'll go into Abdominable, the Unfathomable, Super Rare, the Crazy Bananas Lovecraft card. Oh, love that card. With Numu the Fairy foil, but who cares? This one's not foil, but I love showing off the artwork. It is such a cool artwork card. I still have yet to get the nice Grand Prix promo of that card. It's like a really sharp full art version of it. And I uh, haven't gotten my hands on it yet. 
I need to. I need to. Maybe that one's gone down in price. It might have. We've got Excalibur, Spirit's God Sword, and we've got Guinevere, the Jealous Queen, in a foil, looking clean. Love the artwork on this one, too. Very cool. I uh, would like to get her in a full art or something. That'd be sweet. Here it is. Bang. Give me the Ubi. The Ubi Doobie. Oh, we're going. Okay, we're skipping. Oh, we got Phoenix Wings Rare. We got Excalibur, the God Sword again. And we've got Dark Machinima gliding the shadow in the foil. Very sharp, very sharp picture on this one, too. Really cool. We got the remaining stack from the right side of the box. So let's just gun through it. You know, we, we don't have any of the J rulers left, so it's just kind of random now at this point. Let's see. We got Goddess of Passion. Fairy's Memoria in a foil. That is actually pretty good. I feel like that one should still have some value. Doppelganger in the foil behind it, but this is a, this is a nice hit right there. I believe this box came from one of my big pre-release kits. And I know sometimes pre-release kits have a tendency to find uber rares in them sometimes. Shadow's Memoria is a good one as well. And we've got the stupid little mouse, Insomniac Door Mouse in a foil. That's not great. And I haven't found an uber rare in my other box from my pre-release kit. So this would be my my secondary box that they provided for me in there oh love that artwork i haven't seen that artwork in a minute gotta appreciate that a little bit that is sharp guinevere fairy's memoria non-foil and we've got sylvia's clanmates didn't we get you in a foil already here we go bang oh bend in the top card be careful be careful fruit of yadrazel the overlord's baptism ruler's memoria that would be a good one to get in stamped alice's little supply forest meh here it is oh it's in this one. It's got to be. Let's see. We got Progenitor Dream, Gilhad, Gilead, Gilead. And then we got Born Dragon, Queen's Counterattack, and Wind Magic Stone, and, ooh, Elizabeth, Shadow Princess of Blood in a nice full art stamped. That is pretty cool. Not the biggest fan of the artwork on her, but... That is a sharp looking nice full art. The remaining packs from the middle side have been addressed and now we will go through and close out the box with the left side after these. Melgus, we got Goddess of Jealousy, Leviathan, First of the Sea, and Deployable Defense Device Hollow. Bang, boom. All right, Justice of God's Sword. Dark Rezard as our rare classic Fire Magic Stone and Leviathan the Demon Sword in a foil stamped. Very good, very, very good. That is clean looking. I love this card in the stamped version. Ah, I wish I could have played a deck with this one before it got banned, but I wasn't enforceable at that point yet. Bing, boom. We've got the Whelp Dragon sitting on top protecting the rest of the cards from an unwanted pull of the Uber. No, just Barrier of Flame in a foil stamped once again. We're hitting good foil stamps. This one used to be decent, but now it's just a pretty common one. Here it is. Whoop. Yeah, Fairy of the Lake, and straight to the Hawk, Eagle, Eraser of Wind, Water Magic Stone, and oh, 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 that is a good one, Ruler Memoria, and it's a full art stamped, oh, that is nice, 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 nice and clean, now if you're getting a Memoria, it's got to be this nice Ruler Memoria and a stamped, unfortunately, I still think it's not worth a ton, but it is a beautiful card to look at and to get. I am a fan. This is a good pull for me. This is a really clean version of it. Uh, you know, they've done reprints and things like that, crazier versions, but the original, you just can't beat the original sometimes. It's clean, it's nice. The Lucky Left Side only had three packs left to its name, so let's get into it. Let's see what we got left to this box, the final box of Twilight Wanderer that I have for now. Uh, maybe I'll get more when prices come back down eventually. Spellweaver, Nimu the Fairy. We've got Goddess of Passion, Change the World, Orb of Illusion. What's behind it? Recollection of Dystopia. Nothing great in that one, but that's okay. We got Progenitor Demon, Burn to Cinders. We got Dark Malgus, September Hair, Dark Machinima, Gliding, and a Wind. There's our Wind Magic Stone foil. I think we got them all now, right? Behind it, hey, it's my boy, the Indomitable, the Unfathomable, in a nice foil. Very sharp. Better in the full art, I will say that. But hey, we got a foil of them. That's cool. The last pack of the Twilight Wanderer that I currently have. Oh, boy. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Get it open. Oh, come on. Well, all right. There we go. Okay. Let's just take it easy. Light Sprite. Shadow. 
drop of your drawzel send back magic max stick final word final forfeit barrier of shadows oh clean card oh we missed the water magic stone foil so there it is and the phoenix the flame of the world the nice foil version it looks clean not the biggest fan of the card but it does look clean compared to other phoenix cards uh, but not the Uber. Oh, okay. Polls of the day can be quick and brief here. Indomitable, the unfathomable. Favorite of mine, but not super expensive. We've got Beast, Queen's Counterattack, nice foil stamped. The Bam Demon Sword card in a foil stamped, very clean. This one's super awesome. Again, Ruler's Memoria, full art foil stamped. We've got Alice, Fairy Queen, SRJ Ruler, solid little hit for the foil. And then we've got our Child of Convergence, foil stamped, J Ruler. A nice, nice little pickup for this J Ruler in this box. Got to see if I have the foil stamp version of this one. I'm not entirely sure, but overall, box was decent, decent. No Uber, so the hunt continues. Leave a like if you want to see more hunts for the Ubers. That's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that hunt. If you did, once again, leave a like, subscribe. Make sure to support the channel. Stay tuned for more, and we will catch you guys in the next video.